Hey guys, today as promised I'm going to teach you uh, an effect. It's one of my favorites. It's a card trick called the lie detector. First I'm going to perform it and then I'm going to give you a tutorial on how to do it and not to worry, it's easy peasy. Uh, I start out by uh, saying to people, you know, listen, uh, there was a great show on uh, Fox a while back called Lie to Me starring Tim Roth and I'd like to do a little bit of what he did today. I'd like you to pick a card and I know you're not there and I'm, I'm, honestly I'm just going to randomly uh, drop one down and uh, just to show I'm going to turn my head away you can tell I'm I honestly I have no idea what that is I mean it can you see it show your friends okay um, then I'm going to take that card uh, after you've memorized it and I'm going to lose it in the deck with a series of cuts now uh, in this show, Lie to Me, Tim Roth was a, an, an expert who trained himself to identify microfacial expressions so that he could tell if people were lying. And I'm going to ask you, I want you to try to lie to me. I'm going to start dealing out the cards, and I'm going to watch your face at the same time. And when I get to your card, I want you to try and keep your face as expressionless as possible, no expression at all just like the people I tell jokes to. Uh, just no expression at all. But no matter how hard you try, I'm going to be able to tell when I get to your card. All right, let's go here. Just gonna... no, nothing yet. No, you're good. You're good. It's, all, it's almost like you have no soul the way you're doing that. It's pretty clever. Uh, I'm feeling a little twinge. Ah, see? You've given away everything. How much do you want to bet me that the next card I turn over is your card? What? A brajillion dollars, you say? Well, <laughs> you're on. Uh, you know, you really uh, should be more careful about your bets, you filthy liar. Anyway, that's the effect. Uh, next comes the tutorial. So the lie detector trick uses a classic principle in magic called the key card. What's interesting about the key card is that you don't need to know the card the person selected. I really didn't know which card I had randomly picked for you in the, in the demonstration. Uh, all you have to know is how to find it. In this trick, uh, you'll go ahead and ask someone to pick a card, and again, it doesn't really matter uh, if you know the card. I'll look at it here because we're doing the tutorial. So in this case, they've picked the four of spades. While they're uh, looking at the card, hold the deck like this and glimpse the bottom card. In this case, I glimpsed the Ace of Hearts. That's our key card, okay? When they finish showing it to their friends, you ask them to put it on top of the deck, and you say you're going to lose it in the deck with a series of cuts. When I cut the deck, my key card, the Ace of Hearts, goes right on top of their card. So now my card, the key card, is right before theirs. Uh, typically, I give it a couple of other cuts. I you know, just want to make sure it's close to the top, if you can keep track of that sort of thing. And then you give them the line about, you know, I'm, I'm going to read your facial expressions. And this is very important, you know. When you're performing an effect, uh, it shouldn't just be a trick to fool people. It should be a fun experience. Tell a story, tell a couple of jokes, make it interesting. Uh, Jerry Seinfeld once said that magicians uh, doing magic, it's a very complicated way of telling people that they're stupid, right? Here's a coin, now it's gone, you're stupid. Uh, and if that's all you're doing, you know, what fun is that? So try to make it fun, interesting, engaging, uh, and... and uh, a good time for the audience. So I'm gonna, then I start dealing out the cards, and I don't do it very. I want to make sure that some of them are sticking out because when I get to the Ace of Hearts, okay, I know that the next card is the card you selected, whatever it is, and I deal it out. Now here's where you can decide whether or not you're a nice person. This is actually a good test. If you're a nice person you might say, oh look here, I saw your facial expression, that's your card, but that's not what I like to do. I guess I'm not a very nice person. I keep going, right? And uh, in the uh, the person that you're doing this for in their minds, uh-oh, this guy's messed up, right? I can clearly make sure you, you kind of casually leave that card exposed so they can continue to see uh, that you've, you've gone by it. And then at some point after a while, after making a few quips, I'll say, ah, see, you've just given it all away right there. No matter how hard you try and lie, I can tell how much you want to bet the next card I turn over is your card. Um, I've had people bet me anywhere from $5 to no thanks, I'm not going to do it because they've seen me do some other tricks, to, uh, you know, the lease to their house. And after they do that, reach down and the next card you turn over is their card, those filthy liars. 
I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, it, it's a great trick to do at, uh, at, at, you know, at parties or you know, just to, to break the ice. It's simple, easy, or it doesn't require that much practice, but do practice it and practice your patter. Patter is the, the, uh, the line of speaking that you use during the trick, and it's very important. Again, it makes it more enjoyable for the audience if it's got a little humor and engagement, but it also acts as kind of verbal misdirection. People are listening to what you say while you're doing the trick, and it makes it uh, a little harder for them to catch anything. Thanks again, and uh, I hope you'll subscribe.